my name is Carmen Bosco, and I'm an AVP in supply chain at Canadian Tire. And today I want to take some time to tell you about a journey we've been on for the last three years. E-commerce has been growing for our corporation, and that's no different for any other retailer. One thing that I think sticks out for us uh, from a supply chain perspective, actually I should say two things. So two things that are really important, service and cost. Customers every day uh, demand better service. And the balance we have to do is try to maintain our costs. So that's a real challenge for supply chain. And typically when we look to build uh, solid supply chain solutions, we usually launch projects. And what that means is a lot of time, effort, and commitment. Uh, and a lot of people have to stay committed. We decided as a company that it was time to try to challenge ourselves and conduct an experiment. And this experiment was really going to um, see if we could actually work differently and while still trying to achieve the results that were actually intended. So for an experiment to work, uh, in our minds, we needed uh, four key ingredients. Number one was executive sponsorship. Two was a controlled environment. Three, we felt we needed uh, a guinea pig to go through this experiment. And I'll, I'll touch on that in a second. And, uh, and fourth and really key would be that we needed to find some real slick technology, something really flexible and agile for us. So uh, lucky for us, we had all four uh, ingredients. So um, we had the executive sponsor sponsorship to challenge our status quo, uh, which was great and very important. On the uh, controlled environment, we found uh, some space within a, a warehouse that we have. And we, uh, we, we cleared some space and we decided to buy some racking, uh, printers, pack stations, you know, typical things you do. Uh, and on the guinea pig side, uh, we have a, um, a part of the Canadian Tire family is a business called Pro Hockey Life, which really appeals to the elite hockey player. And they had been doing e-commerce for a few years. And while it was growing, they were uh, struggling to keep up with the demands. So therefore, their service was suffering and their costs were getting higher. In fact, um, on the service side, uh, during uh, events like Cyber Week, uh, it, would, it would take several weeks to fill orders. So uh, they were more than willing to actually be that guinea pig for us. <clears throat> and finally, on, on the technology side, um, I, I mentioned we needed something slick and, and agile flexible. Uh, we found ShipHero, and let me be clear, we found ShipHero. Uh, we found them, we found their website, and uh, we went through it in detail. Uh, we uh, were really impressed with their how-to videos. Uh, the whole process of fulfillment looked pretty simple. So we decided to start our experiment. <clears throat> and, um, you know, when you start the experiment, uh, there's a few things that uh, are pretty key for e-commerce. Number one, you need to connect to your website. And with Shapiro, it was really a matter of hours, not weeks, uh, or an extended period of time. Um, we needed to uh, make sure people could use the system really easily so that training uh, and, um, um, you know, wasn't going to take a long time. Well, Shapiro comes with iPads and uh, Bluetooth scanners. And those are the devices that uh, operate the system. Uh, so we found training to be actually super easy, which was great. Um, and then the other thing is uh, we needed to be able to connect, uh, I would say, to our courier and companies uh, so that we can print labels. And that's really important. So again, we found uh, with Shapiro that would only take a few hours once you had all the information that you needed uh, to make that connection. Um, so Pro Hockey Life uh, went live and, uh, you know, from start to finish in terms of setting up the warehouse and implementing the technology, uh, we were talking just a matter of a few months. Um, shortly after that, uh, we had another uh, part of our Canadian Tire family, National Sports, uh, who had no e-commerce presence. Uh, and because we set up that environment, that warehouse, uh, now to uh, just move their inventory into the building, um, in a matter of weeks, you know, we launched uh, National Sports. And shortly after that, uh, we added a few more of our uh, uh, retail banners under our Paint Tire family. Things are going really well. 
now with that uh, and volume picks up uh, so revenues up which is great and uh, like most companies our merchandising part of the organization uh, wanted to add more products and you know the the other problem that uh, supply chains have is space so uh, we couldn't accommodate uh, expanded assortment from these banners so what we did is we started thinking about uh, how could we unlock retail inventory? Um, I mean, it's sitting there. Why not? Could we put it on the web while we have the uh, warehouse doing fulfillment? So we found with Ship Hero, it had uh, order management rules that were robust enough to make decisions on where we should fulfill orders, whether it would be the store or the DC. And this is actually uh, quite a powerful feature because it allows our supply chain to um, use as a lever if one or the other uh, store or DC, uh, and we've had several stores actually up and running, uh, get the um, get over capacity. Uh, so we could turn the lever to change and switch the nodes on where to fulfill orders. And this has been uh, a real interesting find for us. Um, <clears throat> And the other thing we found with Ship Hero that I would say is uh, has been really beneficial on the cost side is it gives us the ability to do rate shopping. So I mentioned earlier we have uh, a number of um, courier companies. Uh, well, with Ship Hero, each and every shipment is actually rate shopped across your courier connections and picks the cheapest ones. And uh, again, very configurable rules, right? There's... Uh, no uh, need to get um, IT folks involved to make these changes. So uh, again, it's been a, a real um, agile way of implementing change. And speaking of agile, <laughs> the last thing I want to say about this, on the technology front, uh, Ship Hero is a cloud-based solution. Now for Canadian Tire and a lot of big corporations, I know we've always uh, aspired to be more cloud-based these days. Um, so for Canadian Tire specifically, for supply chain specifically, uh, this is something that uh, would be our first cloud implementation. So we've been able to take advantage of several enhancements over time, as Shapiro does, and they roll it out um, and they take effect pretty much instantly. So you're always keeping current uh, with the current version, uh, which we also find uh, a big benefit. So um, to recap, I would say a couple of things. Uh, I mentioned service and cost, right? So if I use the pro hockey life example, uh, during the experiment, we set the bar pretty high for success. So uh, we set a service level of 99% ship next day. Uh, and I'm happy to say, not only did we hit that, we constantly hit that. Um, and on the cost side, I would say the rate shopping component has actually saved us about 25% of the on freight expense, which is actually really good. So reflecting back and looking at uh, what we've done, uh, almost a uh, half million packages shipped through Ship Hero. I would say we've been uh, extremely happy, and I hope uh, you all find this story that I've told today uh, interesting and useful. Thank you. Mm -hmm.